We are kicking today's video off with an announcement. The Ultra Unlock has been detailed. We, uh, we unlocked everything, all three parts, and here's what's coming. Starting with part one time from Friday, July 23rd to August, Tuesday, August 3rd. The following Pokemon will be appearing in raids. Dialga will be in five star raids. And if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny. That's right, shiny Dialga is being released in Pokemon Go. I might do some raids. Not necessarily for the shiny, but for the XL candy. Since I already have a Hundo Dialga at level 40. That could be nice. Get it up to level 50. In three star raids, Magneton, Aerodactyl, Porygon 2, and Golurk. And in one star raids, Unknown U, Kranidos, Shieldon, Bronzor, and Clink. And all of those can be shiny. Unknown U will have its shiny released for the Ultra Bonus. Kranidos and Shieldon will both have their shinies released for part one here. And Kranidos, I, I really like shiny Kranidos. The following Pokemon will be appearing more frequently in the wild. Voltorb, Porygon, Ammonite, Kabuto, Baltoy, Kranidos, Shieldon, and more. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Kranidos or Shieldon, like we just said. The following Pokemon will be appearing in 7 kilometer eggs. Ammonite, Kabuto, Aerodactyl, Lilip, Anorith, Kranidos, and Shieldon. So all the fossil Pokemon will be in 7 kilometer eggs. There will also be timed research with event-themed Pokemon and field research with event-themed tasks. That's part one. Part two, space, from Friday, August 6th until Tuesday, August 17th. So there's a, you know, a short two-day break in between the Ultra Unlocks. For space, you guessed it, Palkia will be appearing in five-star raids and the Shiny will be released. Shiny Palkia, Shiny Dialga, but that's what's happening. In three-star raids, Alakazam, Kangaskhan, and Heracross will be in three-star raids. If you're lucky, you might find a shiny Heracross or Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan, not a new shiny, but, um, you know, it's, it's normally located only in Australia. So good opportunity to get it if you haven't gotten one before. Plus the shiny's out. I don't have that shiny either. Um, and Heracross. Heracross is a new shiny, and it's a great shiny. A beautiful, pink, shiny Heracross. Oh, I want that one too. Unknown U, West Sea and East Sea Shellos, LGM, and Esper will be appearing in one-star raids. So Shellos, both forms, will be in raids worldwide. Unknown U, again, will be in raids and can be shiny. And the following Pokemon will be appearing more frequently in the wild. Clefairy, Mana, Red Striped and Blue Striped Basculin, Elgium, Heatmore, Durant, and more. So uh, both forms of Basculin, which are normally regional, will be appearing worldwide. Both Heatmore and Durant, which are normally split regionals, will be appearing worldwide. And Heatmore and Durant can be shiny. So, you know, be on the lookout for those. We'll also have timed research and field research uh, to round out the event. The Ultra Unlock Part 2. Then, on Friday, August 20th, until Tuesday, August 31st, we have Ultra Unlock Part 3. And we still don't have details on that one. It's a mystery. What will it be? Will it be Arceus? I hope. I hope it's Arceus. And not, like, Giratina. Giratina would be really underwhelming, because we already have both shinies. I think it's going to be Arceus. I think we're getting Arceus. We'll see, though. That's the Ultra Unlock. Let me know what you're looking forward to, but stay tuned, because the rest of this video is day two of my Pokemon Go Fest experience. Lots of raids, and some, it's some really surprising shiny luck. It's GoFest, 
day two, a little bit more relaxed of a day. It's raid day. So I'm in a little bit more relaxed of a place. I'm in the city of Santa Cruz. Hanging out with my cousin Dominic. The plan today is to just kind of chill, you know, skate around, do some raids, and uh, do some raids. That's what we're doing today. Trainer tips, Nick, just the trainer I was hoping to see. Have you been enjoying the festival? It was great. I had a great time. All right, rings in the sky, legendary Pokemon emerging from the rings, back to the lab. All right, so the professor, strange rings, take two snapshots, battle in three raids. That's the special research for the day. We also have a raid day uh, timed research, which rewards raid passes. So battle in a raid, what do you get? Another raid pass. Today is raid day. And while we're on the screen, I actually forgot to claim all my, yeah, it's a good thing. I, wow, good thing we have day two because I forgot all of this stuff yesterday. But the, but we're getting coffee to start the day, but first one minute left on this dino raid. And this is honestly the Pokemon that I care most about raiding today. I'm way less interested in raiding legendaries than I am in raiding dino. All right, here we go. Dino number one. Obviously, I don't have the shiny yet. That's why I'm focusing on the little emo dragon raids. Also, they're just, they're just faster, easier. 583, dino. Battle in one raid. Yo, hardest hitter. Let's check the shiny. No. No shiny. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I, I had to put on shorts. It's kind of hot today, but I got an invite from my guy, Steven, to a dino raid. Steven, thank you. It's also, it's probably editing yesterday's video right now. Dino number two. Going down, hardest hitter once again into shiny check. Okay, we're going back out. Would you look at that? Another dino. Could use the free pass. I might end up using the free passes, uh, the, the in-person passes on a few legendaries that I don't have the shinies of, but you know, I'm looking for the dinos, really. Dino raid number three, and I'm not doing it on purpose, but I've used a different Pokemon every time. Oh, style savant this time. They like my hat. Okay, shiny dino check. Nope, but it's gonna look so good if I can get it with this background, this like Hoopa legendary spatial anomaly. What is this? Cosmic, cosmic anomaly detected. It just looks so cool with this background. I love it. So would be nice to get the shiny today. And um, I also picked up win three raids, which is another dino check. So it's too late as you're watching this, but I hope you I hope you picked up lots of win three raids tasks. Cause that's just free dino. I don't think there's any more right now. Nope, I still don't have shiny ho-oh. It's up there. I forgot that maybe no one wants to do this ho-oh raid with me. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Uh, no. Okay, never mind. Scratch the ho-oh. Keep looking for dino. Ooh, ponyta. Maybe I'll do that. Wait, wait a minute. There's actually a wild dino. It's not, it's not shiny. I, I'm not gonna make it. I'm using the remote pass for the ponyta. 
Whoops, I for I just bought a pass. I, I totally forgot to do this. There we go. Yeah, let me claim that. Stack it up. Okay, Ponyta. Out here in the surf. You got nothing, it's got nothing to do with surfing, but nice place. Final strike. You know, I don't even have a lucky egg on. I really am just, I'm casual. No shiny. Should put a lucky egg on, yeah? Probably. A whole lot of Pokemon to shiny check, but today, shiny rates aren't boosted like they were yesterday, so just it's just way less likely. Um, and I think, I don't know, I guess there was some confusion about that. Um, I've seen people online saying, oh, there's, uh, there's, the shiny rates are terrible on Sunday. But we knew that ahead of time that was announced in like the official GoFest blog post. They said that shiny rates are going to be higher on Saturday because Sunday is raid day. So shiny checking wild Pokemon really isn't the focus today. Still a good opportunity to pick up candy for a Pokemon that you might need or uh, complete a collection challenge that you might have forgotten about or neglected yesterday. It's funny that I was just talking about shiny rates and then this happens. Got a shiny today. Woobat, one that I already have, but still cool, you know? There it is with the, well, kind of with the background. Camera panned, tilted, tilted down a little bit. Shiny Woobat, nice. Oh. And also at this gym, level one raid hatching in three minutes. So hopefully that's another dino. Like I said, not all that interested in raiding legendaries. Oh, here it goes. It's Ponyta. It's Ponyta. That's all right. There are one, two, three, three more, four more that could be dino. The Zigzagoon, more Ponyta, and and me! Look, Mom, I'm in the game. I got a dino. Actually, there's two that just hatched. This is the only one that I'm gonna make it to, on foot. So I actually get to use a free pass for this. I guess they're all free today. Oh, a final strike, look at you. Fancy. <laughs> Chop them down. I hope you get a shiny. Oh, oh. Here's my other dino. There's my other dino, way over there. So, you know, the reason that I, I'm really just not that interested in doing legendary raids anymore is that, I guess it's kind of the same reason that I'm not all that into shiny hunting like in main series games or uh, opening Pokemon cards and that's that's really just because the the odds are uh, how do I explain this Steven the way that I feel about it is basically what it comes down to is whatever you're looking for at least with legendary raids if you spend enough money you're gonna get it right there's a, a fixed chance of getting it, and every raid typically costs a dollar, and it just comes down to how many dollars are you willing to spend? Because if you put in enough, eventually you're gonna get it, right? I, I mean, you saw when I was raiding Rayquaza the last time it was here, it took 60 plus raids to get the first shiny, it took another 60 raids to get the second shiny, and I mean, after a while, after, what, four, four years of doing this, I just feel like, I don't know, I've, I've kind of lost interest. Um, if it was like maybe a legendary Pokemon that I really liked, then I might be a little bit more inclined, but as far as legendaries go, I've never really been the type of person to even use legendary Pokemon. Like when I played main series games, I would never use legendaries on my team. Um, so I don't know. I, I, of course you could make the same argument for Dino, right, at this point. If I spend enough money, I'm gonna get it, but luckily today, the raids are free, for one thing. The hardest, <laughs> look at this hardest, hardest hitter over here. But, you know, typically Dino is not a, a raidable Pokemon, right? It doesn't 
come out and it's only in raids for a little while. It's not like a legendary where it comes out for a set amount of time and it's only available in raids. I, I think it's just a lot more exciting, at least in Pokemon Go, to find a shiny in the wild, for me personally. Raiding legendaries for shinies, I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not all that excited about it anymore. I think that's it for Dino for this round, but we should be getting a new round of eggs soon. While we're sitting here though, let's talk, <laughs> let me just show you. Shiny and legendary. If we look at my recent ones, these were special trades, lucky trades, uh, Rayquaza, lucky trade. I got Latios, Raikou, Entei. You know, a lot of the newer shiny legendaries, the, the Swords of Justice, or um, or the the genies. I just I didn't I didn't really bother rating for him. Dino though. Dino will take it. Oh my god! Oh my yeah! Oh dude! Do you know how long I've been looking for this? Oh. See what I mean? It's just way more fun to like find a shiny. Just randomly. Oh. I have been looking for shiny Growlithe since it was released. Another one of my most wanted shinies. It's evaded me this entire time. Here it is. Please catch. Thank you. Dang. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my god. I don't even care about the IVs. It was caught around California. Around it. Or somewhere, somewhere near it. Nice. nice. Nice, nice. Oh my god. Hey look, even if I don't get the shiny dino, that's cool. Yo, why? I'm just I, waiting for my falafel. Just ordered some falafel. And uh, another shiny that I really wanted. Do I just need to like talk about shiny? I, I don't know. Complain about? Am I complaining? Just explaining why I'm not interested in raiding legendaries. I don't know. Probably totally unrelated. But I, I'm having surprisingly good shiny luck today as well. Nice. The lawful acquired. You know, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because... There are three, three dino raids that I gotta take care of real quick. Shiny, check one. Check two. And check three. Found another one. Check four. 592, I think that's best IVs I've had today though. Let's see. Okay, new hour, new eggs. Number five. Oh, is this number six? Well, I'm not even counting from the beginning. Whatever number I'm on, not shiny. Yeah, I'm just sitting here working on my computer and the dino raids are really hatching for this last hour and they're still not shiny. Okay, this might be the last one. I hope that's not the last one. Good news, more three more which is perfect because I forgot to claim this three free remote raid passes and that'll cover it all right I have three more chances at shiny dino today before I have to start paying for them and I'm you know based on what we talked about earlier I'm probably not gonna do that all right dino 597 It's not shiny. 597. Hmm. I don't know why, but I, that, it's still the highest IV, or highest CP I've gotten today. Two chances left. Last chance. All right, well not like last chance, but like last free raid pass chance for today. We might still get Dino Community Day eventually, right? There is one more, one more Dino Raid, and I, I just don't, I don't have enough coins. 
to buy a raid pass, so I'm not I'm not going to. So that's that's it, really. That's the end of uh, my GoFest day two here. Um, honestly, overall it was fun. I, I actually ended up with more than I expected. Three shinies today. Two new ones that I've really wanted, so that's nice. Especially this one. I have been looking for Growlithe for so long. <sighs> How cool would that have been? Uh, I could have gotten more raids in if we had like really walked around or skated around. Although I guess actually I did pretty much every dino raid that I saw. Um, and the free remote passes were enough to do that, so I guess just one more. I could have done one more raid <laughs> um, if I could sprint over there to it, but I don't think I'd make it there in time for this one that's left. So, overall, still a fun day. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a, a good GoFest weekend. Let me know down in the comments how it went. Day one, day two, what did you like? What did you dislike? Can't wait to hear from you. See you soon. Bye.